Hello, my name is Snowlight. This is my Warcraft University, a YouTube series intended to give new and mid-tier players simple concepts towards playing World of Warcraft at a higher level. In this video, we will discuss reviewing and improving DPS performance. In the last video, we looked at some tools like Icy Veins to learn and practice your DPS. Those tools and concepts will continue to be relevant as long as the game continues to be changed, patched, or tweaked. So it's a good video to come back to in the future. This time around, we're going to expand that with some additional tools that will retroactively show you how you did in a recent battle and how you can use these to your advantage. Some of these ideas are useful across the game, but we'll focus heavily on raiding today. So let's get into it. We've looked at damage meters in the past, but only in passing reference. So let's take a closer look. Details and recount are popular add-ons that provide damage meters, but the one you've seen on my screen up to this point is SCADA. You can ask your friends which one they prefer, and they can help you set it up if you have trouble. But what exactly does a damage meter do? In-game damage meters are intended to give you a quick reference to how much damage you are putting out or healing, or dispels. You can see from this list of trackable factors that the term damage meters only refers to the most popular usage of the meters themselves. I'll leave it to tracking damage for now. One fight later, and let's take a look at what just happened. Looking at Blue's performance in a recent raid. We can see her pure damage dealt here, and next to it, it's damage per second value. If I click on her name in the meters, it will expand to show every source of damage in her kit and how much it contributed to her overall rotation. This can be a good way to quickly check against Icy Veins or other similar sites if you're using the right spells in your rotation. This information is all valuable in its instant feedback nature, so it's a good way to quickly check if you are pulling your weight. However, we can go deeper. As long as someone on your team is logging, you can review your performance in much more detail on the website warcraftlogs.com. There are plenty of other guides out there on the internet to help you get this set up if you so desire, but if not, just make sure someone on your team is logging so you can review your own performance. With that in mind, I'll pull up the same fight we looked at with the meters. Immediately, it gives us information about damage done, our favorite for this topic, as well as healing done, damage taken, and what was the final blow for each of your team members that decided to, shall we say, take a quick nap. I'll click on Damage Done by Source to expand this out. This next screen shows a pretty meter that shows the team's damage output throughout the fight. If I click on a specific character, like Blue, it will show her damage output on this meter as well. The left scale matches overall team damage, the right side for individual performance, so it is easier to read. But that's not all. If I look at Blue's parse, I can see how she performed compared to all other recorded Feral Druid attempts for this boss to the left of her name, and this is color-coded. Further right, it shows her overall item level as well as the adjusted score on her item level. Remember how better gear means you can put out more damage? This value shows you how you are doing as a player after taking into account the quality of your gear, compared to other players in the same class and spec. The value right here tells you more than any other factor if you are pulling your weight as a player regardless of what quality of equipment you're wearing. If it's in the gray, then there is something wrong, assuming you're not tanking or healing. We'll give those ones a pass. Now please remember, this is a tool to reflect how well you're doing, so there are two good responses to seeing below par values here. If you are usually in the green or blue or higher, sometimes it's best to chalk it up to a bad day or just a bad pull. We all have those. If you are consistently, pull after pull, sitting in great territory for this number, then it's time to adjust your rotation at a training dummy so you can come back as a more beefy DPS. 
One quick note, if I click on Blue's name, I can see the detailed DPS breakdown by abilities, similar to within the damage meters. Some of these are useful in showing you things like casts or dot uptime, and these can be useful values in reviewing if something isn't going to plan. But we're not done yet. We can go even deeper. The logs from the previous point can be fed directly into the website wowanalyzer.com. This tool takes things to the next level, providing specific feedback on what you could have done to pump out more damage. The overview tab will tell you what you did as well as where to improve, and more importantly, what very specific steps you could do to improve. There will be specific suggestions for the player throughout this page. So in the core rotation, it indicates that there's a 77% uptime on RIP, one of the primary dot spells. Now, some of that may be related to um, some of that may be related to ads not getting uptime or during intermission phases. And there's a little bit here uh, that, that breaks down if it was a bad rip because no Tiger's Fury or if something else was going on. Okay, um, panic. So, <laughs> <laughs> so here's the explanation. It is your highest damage per energy single target spender. Try to bring this from 77 up to 100 would be the advice here. Similarly, Ferocious Bites, uh, looks like there are times when you shouldn't be using it because uh, less than four combo points or low energy are the uh, advice here. Again, here's the kind of the breakdown of that. Similarly with Rake, there's some stuff here. Try to keep that on all targets. Brutal Slash, looks like 61 out of 102 possible casts that could be cast more often and so on and so forth, all these different recommendations throughout the uh, throughout the page. Cooldowns, it looks like there was just minor inefficiencies. Again, that could be because of phases. As the boss is up in the air, you can't really do anything. Um, so, just, yep. Yeah. What? Panic. Yeah, panic. Uh, there's a lot going on in the fight. And then down here in the preparation area, it looks like there is a missing enchant for bracers. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. That's why we do these kind of conversations. And consumables. So that's kind of the breakdown, just looking at Blue's character. The other tabs provide statistics and data points, which were used to analyze your performance. So you can check those out, but just know that the most valuable information and the place you should spend the most time reviewing is on that overview tab. There are not very many tools to review and provide suggestions for improvements, but if you know of any others that aren't mentioned here, please put a note in our comments section. There is no substitute for experience. The more you pursue excellence, the better you will get at a certain thing. This truth persists not only in the real world, but also in the game. Now, I cannot teach you how to have experience. You'll have to get that yourself. But what I can do is convince you to find someone who has been playing Warcraft for quite some time, a class mentor or even just a general mentor. If they are willing to teach you, learn as much as you can from them. When you try something new, ping them and see what they think. Do try to discuss your concerns in moderation we don't want to create unhealthy quantities of discussion, but having someone to bounce ideas off of can be very helpful in bringing up your skills without just waiting for enough experience to kick in. Indeed, even those of us that have played for long periods of time tend to run ideas through each other each time Blizzard makes a change to our favorite classes. So even experienced players mentor other experienced players with some frequency. Okay, DPS friends, in the last video, I specifically challenged you to get good. Now I'm going to temper this. Go out there and get raiding. Make some mistakes, review, and adjust. 
These steps, repeated over time, will help you reach a higher level with your DPS and as a Warcraft player. If you found this video useful, please leave a like on the video or a comment with any questions about this topic. The subscribe button and the bell are there so you can see when new videos come out if that is your desire. In addition, please consider supporting us on Patreon. In addition to directly supporting the continued success of the series, you will gain access to extra perks like a special anniversary video we just released. As always, please be positive in your guilds and help make Warcraft a fun place for everyone to play. Goodbye for now.